Welcome to the channel, guys. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how your onboarding process has an impact on the customer lifetime value. So this video is for you if you run a coaching, consulting, course business, or if you run an agency and you provide services. So the lesson that I wanna teach you today goes back to last week when I was in Italy. And what happened is really simple. I went to the gym. After the gym, I was extremely hungry and I took my phone and I started looking for some restaurants. Find a nice restaurant, I go in, very nice place, look at the menu, all right, I order, and then I start waiting. Now, I don't know from which part of the world you are watching this video. Maybe in the US is different, but in Europe, in most places, if there are not a lot of people inside of the restaurant, you can get your food pretty fast. I'm talking about like 15, 20 minutes, maybe a bit longer, but if there are only a lot of people. Now, bear in mind that I looked around and there were like, I don't know, three people inside of the restaurant. So I started waiting 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. At 30 minutes, I started wondering like, by the way, what did I order? Did I order lobster? Did I order um, duck with orange? Oh no, wait, I order chicken breast and rice with a nice sauce on the side. So I look at the time, all right, 30 minutes. All right, I'm gonna keep waiting a bit more, 40 minutes. 45 minutes, 50 minutes, my food arrives. By the time that my food arrives, I don't even care about how it tastes. I'm so annoyed that even if that chicken breast was gonna be the best chicken breast of my life, I would have never went back to that restaurant. As soon as I finished the food, which by the way was pretty good, but again, the whole experience was terrible. Not only did I wait more, also when I order my drink, the waiter brings me something else. So again, it was a complete disaster. The food itself wasn't bad at all but I will never go back to the place and I will never recommend that place to anybody. If somebody asks me, how was the food in that restaurant? I will tell them, never step in that restaurant, ever. So what is the lesson that you need to learn here? The lesson that you need to learn here if you're on a coaching consulting course business is really simple. Whenever you start working with a client, whenever a client pays you, you cannot mess up the first one to seven days of the onboarding or like the experience that your client have with you because that's where you establish the relationship. That's where the trust barrier is passed because the client paid you and that's where the relationship begins. You can have the best coaching offer in the world, you can have the best coaching service in the world, you can have the best agency service in the world. If you mess up the onboarding process, I can guarantee you one thing, it's gonna be so difficult to renew the client, upsell the client, keep the client on a retainer, it's gonna be so difficult. And again, it makes complete sense because when someone pays you money, it's the same thing with me. And by the way, going back to the example of the restaurant, I'm probably the best customer that a restaurant can have. If I like a restaurant, I go back 20 times, I tip every single time, and I also tell other people that the restaurant is great and that they should be going there. So I'm probably the greatest customer. So. Whenever I go to a restaurant, I expect a certain service. And the same applies with you and your clients. Whenever a client pays you in the beginning, they wanna move fast. They made the investment, now they wanna get the results in the shortest time possible to not only make back the investment that they made with you, but also get a return. So in the first one to seven days, it's extremely important the client feels like they made the right decision, that they are in good hand, that you know exactly what you're doing, that you have a plan, that you know exactly how you're gonna get them results. So the communication must be on point. The client needs to feel like you know exactly what you're doing, that you've done it many, many times, and that they just need to trust you and do what you tell them. So that's why even with my team, I always tell them, guys, whenever we work with a client, we need to put so much focus, so much attention in the first seven days that we cannot mess it up. If we do an exceptional job in the first seven days, I can guarantee you that it's gonna be very difficult for the client not to be with us for the next six to 12 months. It's pretty much impossible. But if something happens in the first seven days and in the few cases where, again, maybe something happened, we slowed down, maybe we, got, we enrolled too many clients at the same time, it was so much more difficult to then renew the client, keep them on. And it makes sense at the end of the day because whenever you make the investment, you want to feel like the person is sharp, the person knows what they're doing, the person kept their word, the person is delivering on the promises that you made. So whether you have a coaching business, consulting business, or an agency, you, you have a service, it's extremely important that you look at everything that you do in the first week 
with a client and you ask yourself five times, 10 times, is there anything that I can improve the first onboarding message? Is there, is there anything that I can improve the onboarding system? Is there anything that I can improve during the onboarding call? Is there anything that I can improve the communication with the way I create the strategy? Is there any way for me to deliver results faster? And once you start asking yourself those questions, you're gonna see that you're gonna be able to optimize and improve the onboarding process to the point where the client is gonna be like, wow, the guys, are doing everything that they say they were gonna do. They are doing it even faster. They're doing it in a better way. The communication is great. I just trust them fully. So again, it's extremely important that if you run a coaching consulting course business, you rewatch this video a couple of times because trust me when I say that if you nail the onboarding process and you do everything in the correct way and the client and the customer has a great experience during those first five, seven, 10 days, it's gonna be so much easier to then upsell them to another program if you run a coaching business or keep them on as a client if you run an agency or a service-based business. And you know that when it comes to the agency game and when it comes to the info business, client lifetime value is so incredibly important. The higher the lifetime value of a customer, the more you can spend to acquire one customer, the bigger your advantage is over other people. So again, you cannot mess the onboarding process. It's so crucial. So. If you look at everything that you do for the client, you need to put 10 times more effort in the first seven to 10 days than what you're gonna do afterwards. Because if you establish the relationship in the right way, if the client is happy in the beginning, if you are happy in the beginning, and if that relationship forms in the right way, that relationship is gonna go stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger over time. And if the relationship keeps being strong over time, it's gonna be a lot easier to keep that client on and upsell them to other programs. Now, again, I don't wanna make this video too long, I need also one sip of coffee, which by the way, talking about Italy, let me show you this way. Look at that cup that I bought. Can you see it? I don't know. Let me also show you the plate. That's next level. Now, is it worth 60 bucks? I don't know, tell me. Anyway, going back to what I was saying, if you're in a coaching consulting course business, again, look at the onboarding process and literally make it perfect. And if you run a restaurant in Italy and you serve your customers chicken breast and rice and you deliver it in 40 minutes, please put a sign on your restaurant that you're closing down and never accept a customer ever again. Going back to following your passion, do something else, but do not run a business if you take 40 minutes to deliver a chicken breast and rice with a nice sauce that I'm not gonna lie, it was good, but again, never gonna step back in that restaurant ever again. So with that being said, I hope that this lesson and this story about my terrible experience in the Italian restaurant is gonna help you nail your onboarding process and really make sure that your customer lifetime value is gonna be as high as possible. Do not make that mistake with the onboarding process and I can guarantee you that you're gonna live a happier life a more fulfilled life and you're going to be making more money. Bye.